would you say you were kind of in that kind of when you were younger in that kind of more would you say controlled state i don't know listening to the news and doing all these uh i guess negative habits and stuff like that well, I mean, everybody has negative habits. Uh, I, like I said, I I rejected all that stuff very early. Mm. But I, was, you know, I was obviously still a victim of it to a degree, uh, and all sorts of programs. For example, uh, I had terrible relationship with money for the longest time. It took me a long, long time to fix that. Uh, mainly due to like the abundance of socialist programming I was subjected to by my beautiful parents as a kid with all the fucking Billy Bragg records and uh, other such sort of... Get it you know, out. <laughs> yeah, you like for years, and I love Billy Bragg, and I loved his, his beautiful voice and his... But I realized he was something of a hypocrite in later life when I sort of met him and I spoke with him about a few things and realized that he was, he was a terrible hypocrite. But, you know, like, yeah, so I rejected the news from very early, and I rejected television and things like that i was lucky we didn't have a tv in the house till i was i don't know 12 or something so i just read a lot of books and so when when tv came along i i saw it for what it was it was so ridiculous like the fucking the just these people sat there with loads of funny makeup on sort of lying really obviously and the adverts just seemed so silly and obviously lying the whole thing was just like it was just lies it just seemed really comical to me so I, I rejected it from, from early. And um, I never, I was always one of these that didn't like or questioned authority heavily. Mm. Whether it was teachers, whether it was my church, whether it, whoever it was, whether it was police or whatever. So I was at odds with authority from very, very young. That led to me leaving home very early when I was 15 and having all sorts of adventures and, and uh, situations that showed me very early the true nature of the world, the true nature of the power structure of the world, the true nature of man. So I was aware of all that stuff from very, very early, for good or ill. Yeah. And I would say for good, because it gave me a head start on a lot of stuff. But yeah, like you said, there was a, but still, because of musical programming, uh, I was unable to fully act upon which I knew because I was trapped <laughs> in this, this lack poverty mindset where I thought that money was inherently evil and that anyone who had lots of money must be obviously evil and corrupt in some way and that wealth could only be generated from the exploitation of others and so on and so forth at this completely inverse upside down anti-human anti-actual progress uh mindset that had been put there by pop songs <laughs> And it was me thinking I was smart and thinking I was listening to smart people music. Oh, I'm not listening to that dumb stuff. I'm listening to like, you know, I'm listening to Dead Prayers and Billy Bragg and like, you know, smart guy shit that actually turned out to be fucking retarded uh, and deeply unuseful and took me decades and decades to deprogram myself from.